inspiration together with practical solutions. How do we bring young workforce together, working in high schools? How do we bring new incentives for those kind of over 65 potentially willing to come back to work? You know, all those sort of things need to come together. But I think inspiration is something that's missing in the whole challenge we're facing in workforce. Well, there's no doubt that the healthcare sector, because it is so large, it's really, it's not easy to make transformational change, which is what's needed and quite urgently. But at the same time, we're healthcare professionals or we work in the healthcare system. So we have agency in this area. There has been a rapid wakening up to that this is an important issue. And we are just starting to develop strategies. And you can see it in, in boards and strategic plans by health service boards, for example, that sustainability is now mentioned. Innovation happens when you've got extremes coming together in a, a collaborative environment, following a process of problem framing, uh, divergent thinking, convergent thinking, where we're starting to identify solutions and then trialling those solutions. So that's the, the approach that I think people in the health sector and indeed government need to take in order to solve some of the problems that we're facing because we need to solve those problems at pace and at scale. We need to lead as a sector. And I think, pleasingly, Australian healthcare leaders are beginning to realise that. And they're realising that quite fast. The amount of progress that has happened in the last few years is really very encouraging. Obviously, the, the pressure starts at the board level. Then it comes down to the hospital executive. And then when you think, oh, how are we going to make this happen? That's when the tools come in very handy. And that's why I volunteered to be on the project, because I think it's really what people need to make it happen.